Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and this is the Apple Shed, my creative space. There are so many projects going on in here at the moment and I'm going to take you through them. But first of all, I want to talk a little bit about creativity and I want to tell you something a little bit about creativity and that is that everything will try and get in the way of your creative time. I mean, you have to guard that shit like it is your gold because it is. And so I say to myself every day, okay, my peak creative, creative hours are from, let's say, 7 a.m. to midday. That is when I am at my best. But the truth is, I don't always have 7 a.m. to midday. I have two day jobs and I run a business. I work in a florist and I do design work for businesses. So that means that my mornings sometimes, often, I have to dedicate and give to those things, which means that my own personal creativity, which is the lifeblood of my business, isn't getting the time. Because as a business owner, as a lot of you will know, I am not just an artist. I am the web designer. I am the marketer. I write the copy. Oh my gosh, the list is endless. I'm researching like product manufacturing. I'm having meetings. I'm coming up with oh, ideas, all sorts of things, right? You're just, you have 10,000 jobs that is growing every day. And every day you have to do those jobs. So your art time gets pushed and pushed and pushed out of the way. It just does. Until eventually you stop and you say to yourself, if I do not create, I have nothing. It is the lifeblood of my business. And although everything else is forcing itself in the way, I must do this. So what I do then is I put aside three days or four days and I just say, you know what? This is project time. I'm working on my projects and by God, I am going to finish them. You no, know, I've learned from myself how easy it is not to finish anything. You get stuck in the messy middle. You don't like all your projects. You think to yourself, oh shit, I don't like any of this stuff I'm working on. What am I going to do? But you must push through and you must finish. So what I want to do is just, I'm in the messy middle right now. This morning, I'm going to be honest. I thought to myself, this is all shit. What am I going to do? But we shall persist. So let me take you through some of these projects. Okay, first of all, here we've got my big painting here, which you guys saw me get started and put together. Still not finished. It is on the way though. So, I mean, I've done all the blocking out and the first layers. And what I'm going to do is go over this with matte medium so that I can therefore start doing the, the detailed work in pencil and crayon and whatever else I feel like using. Um, I've begun a mood board of which I'm going to do three for my next collections coming up throughout the year. This one is a late summer feel. I haven't quite got there yet, but look, here is the color palette, sort of, sort of. Over here, I'm getting prints ready for market. Um, and at the moment I'm working on restoring some vintage frames as well because I would like to be able to offer some prints in frames. I'll show you these frames down here. Can you see this? These are beautiful frames that I picked up on Gumtree. Oh, sorry, on Facebook Marketplace. And the fella had had them in his shed for 30 years. And he said, that's it. I've had enough of them being just sat here and I want to get rid of them. And I was super stoked because look at this. And I think I paid like 50 bucks for nine frames and they're all really cool. Look at this. Look at this. I actually give him his own chair, but the moment I get up, he hops onto my chair. Don't you, Puddy? Say hello to the people, Pud. Puddy. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. Next thing I want to show you is this poster that I am putting together. Here we go. It's called A Walk in the Valley and it's inspired by the wildflowers and not only wildflowers, but just in the Huon Valley when you go for a walk, there are flowers everywhere. All right, if we come over here, here's the original. I've scanned them and I've imported them into procreate where i've cleaned them up more usually like here making sure all the edges are clean and all that kind of thing 
and um, and then um, popped in the the text, which I will probably change later, but it's a placeholder really. And then I flipped it back across to the computer where I will now finalize where all the bits, where all the flowers and how they will be laid out. So that's in the middle of being worked on as well. Let's take a moment to look outside my window. It's so pretty. Look at those hills out there. I don't know if you can see them well enough, but it's so gorgeous. And then I've got this canvas here, which I'm doing some painting on because I'm basically testing out this color scheme and testing out this paint, which I really love the color of. roses you can see them aren't they amazing just stunning aren't they stunning now lovelies it is the day after the market today and it went really really well better than I could have hoped I sold out of lots of things and it's exactly what you want but I have another market in six days time and I have to get busy prepping everything all over again for that market. Basically, I, I wouldn't normally do this many markets, but because it's Christmas and it's my chance to make sales and get products out there, I've decided to do two markets this month. So it's a hectic time, which means I'm really sorry that it had to be such a short video this week, but I've got to wrap it up because there's just a lot that needs to be done. A lot of painting, a lot of printing, all the things. Before I go, just quickly, I do want to say that I have some fun stuff coming up over the next month. I've got a bit of a competition, which I will post about in the next week. And I have some exciting plans for this little space and I cannot wait for you to see what I'm going to do. So there's that. Now, are you on my mailing list? Here's why you should be, because I love to write. I love to write and I love to write to my people, my community, and it's just one of my favorite things to do. And it's full of my like, you know, positive thinkings and, and, and juicy details and all behind the scenes and just keeps you up to date with what's going on. So if you would like to be on the mailing list, then the link will be below in the comment box. Now I must dash. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a beautiful week ahead. Mwah. Merry Christmas.